Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen where today we're making summer raspberry cake. So what is summer raspberry cake? For me, that means a nice, light, white or vanilla cake with some raspberries in there. And the way we're gonna do it, the cake is going to kind of cook around the raspberries. Super delicious, light, flavorful, and easy to make. So we have our dry ingredients over here. I've got whole wheat pastry flour, which I love using because it's a whole grain, but it's milled finer, it's a softer wheat, so you still get that light, fluffy texture with your baked goods. Then in here I have some baking soda and some salt. That's gonna get mixed in there. I'm just gonna incorporate all those dry goods together. And then we'll have our dry ingredients kind of sit there. And then I have another bowl for our wet ingredients. So in here, I already have some melted butter. To that, I'm gonna add some olive oil. And I'm gonna mix these together a little bit. Then I'm gonna put in one egg and some vanilla extract. And we're gonna whisk this all together now. Get it all nice and mixed together. Start to really, we're gonna aerate it. So when we whisk it, we're getting air in there. Thickens it up a little bit, it leavens it a little bit. Really incorporating everything together. Then we're gonna add in our maple sugar. You can also use granulated sugar or light brown sugar. I am just partial to maple sugar. So we're gonna really whisk this together too. Like so, and then finally we're putting in some milk. You can use whole milk or 2% milk. We're really looking for that fat acid combination here, which is gonna help um, have a chemical reaction basically with the baking soda. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And then we're gonna put our dry into our wet. And we're gonna carefully fold it together. We don't wanna over mix it or be too rough when we're combining the wet and the dry ingredients because that whole wheat pastry flour will form gluten and we don't want it to get tough. So we're going to just gingerly fold everything together here and not go too quickly. Almost there. Perfect. All right. Okay, so now I have a round cake pan. I've sprayed it with an olive oil spray. You can also use butter if you wanna have that as your fat of choice to grease your pan. You can also use a pie pan. That works beautifully as well. Then we're just gonna put all of this great batter into Make sure that it all got in there. Beautiful. Then I'm just gonna kind of smooth it out a little bit. It's not full. Your pan is not going to look full to you at all, but it will puff up and that cake is gonna bake around the raspberries. So now we have our cake and I have a carton of raspberries, essentially a pint of raspberries here. And I'm just gonna kind of drop them all over the cake. You could also use blueberries or sliced strawberries. You can do a mixture of all three of those berries. You could use blackberries kind of whatever you like and whatever is available. But berries are at their peak ripeness in the summer. 
So that's why this is like a nice, light summer raspberry cake. All right, so I have the oven at 350 degrees. We're gonna put it in there for about 45 to 50 minutes. And when it's lightly golden on the top and a toothpick comes out clean, it'll be done. So I'm gonna put this into the oven and we'll see you back in about 45 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 45, 50 minutes and that summer raspberry cake should be ready to go. So let's grab it from the oven. Ooh, beautiful, gorgeous. So you can see it's nice and golden brown around the outside and that cake has just puffed up and cooked right around those beautiful raspberries. So you can slice this up and serve it with some whipped cream or creme fraiche, maybe some chopped up mint, maybe a little ice cream, kind of sky's the limit here. So there you go. Once again, I'm Abby. Thanks for watching my New York City kitchen. This is my summer raspberry cake. We'll see you next time. Bye.